Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday. So yesterday during my live stream, uh, somebody had sent a super chat. They had wanted to know my opinion on the raid on they wanted to know my opinion on the Donald Trump raid that took place at Mar-a-Lago. And I did not get to cover it at the end because I was on for almost two hours. So I wanted to just make a quick video about the situation because people were still asking, what is your opinion? You didn't talk about it. You never answered the Trump question. So for y'all who do not know, this happened on August 8th. So almost, you know, 11 days ago, um, 30 agents basically, honey, tore down the doors at Mar-a-Lago and broke into former President Trump's home. Um, and this was very unprecedented. I don't think this has ever happened to any former U.S. president. So Trump was not at Mar-a-Lago, but the agents appeared to have removed 27 boxes of documents, um, binders, photographs, handwritten notes. Uh, they were saying that some of them were from Kim Jong-un. They were letters of clemency for Roger Stone. There was a lot of stuff that was taken from Mario Lago. And so this is causing a lot of controversy. After the raid happened, Trump took to Twitter and told everybody about it. And a lot of his supporters went down to Mario Lago and started protesting in front of the estate. And so... You know, people want to know why this raid took place. You know, what is going to happen now? One thing, like we always talk about this channel, is that once the FBI gets involved, they don't just come through on a whim. They're not just going to show up at somebody's house. They have been tipped off and been following and investigating for some time. That's just how it works. So they're not going to go in if they don't have all the proper protocols, warrants, things signed off by judges and stuff like that. So to me... This situation seems very, very serious, okay? So right now, Trump is demanding that the affidavit for the warrant um, that led to the raid on his home, that it be open to the public. He doesn't want anything redacted. He wants the public to see everything. He wants full transparency. Well, because of some of the things that were taken from the home back then, a lot of it is very top secret. A lot of it is stuff that, you know, the public does not need to know. A lot of it, you know, could put America at a security risk and things like that. So they're not too quick to just release everything unredacted. So people have been waiting to see what the judge would say. Would they release it fully? Would they release a redacted version? Or are they just not going to release it at all? Well, as of yesterday, it was announced that the judge is agreeing to release a good portion of the affidavit, but it needs to be redacted. So this is causing a lot of conversation on social media. I was thinking that the redacted, you know, warrant information would be out today, but most likely will not be until next week. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out these news clips. Developments really. in the search of former President Trump's Florida residence. A federal judge is set to hear arguments today on releasing the FBI affidavit used to justify that search. Terry Moran is in Washington, D.C. with the latest on that. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Amy. So today we could learn more about why the FBI sought that search warrant to search Donald Trump's Florida residence. And as Trump and his allies ramp up their attacks on federal law enforcement, one prominent Republican is telling them to stop it. This afternoon, a federal magistrate judge is set to hear arguments over a request to unseal the affidavit. That's the sworn legal document laying out the evidence and rationale underlying that FBI search of Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Trump has demanded its full release, and many top Republicans are backing him. We need the affidavit. Show your cards. Uh, Merrick Garland can't have it both ways. He can't give us the inventory, the warrant, without telling us why it was necessary. Several media organizations, including ABC News, are asking the court to unseal the affidavit. But the Justice Department is strongly opposed, arguing that doing so could compromise their ongoing investigation into Trump's alleged mishandling of classified information and presidential records. The FBI has warned that after the search of Mar-a-Lago, there was an increase in violent threats posted on social media against federal officials. Former Vice President Mike Pence is defending the FBI. 
We can hold the attorney general accountable for the decision that he made without attacking rank and file law enforcement personnel at the FBI. These attacks on the FBI must stop. Calls to defund the FBI are just as wrong as calls to defund the police. So Mike Pence making news on another front. He is saying that he would consider testifying before the January 6th committee. ABC News has learned that committee investigators have been negotiating with Pence and his representatives for months. It would be an extraordinary and unprecedented Good morning, Rush. First up, the latest on the FBI search of Donald Trump's Florida state. The judge who authorized that raid is hinting at a possible unsealing of the redacted version of the affidavit that was used to obtain the search warrant. Now, that possibility comes after lawyers for news organizations, and that includes ABC, argued the sensitive document should be released for the sake of transparency. And Trump has said the same thing. On the, he wants the entire thing released, so no edits at all. The Justice Department has until next Thursday to file its proposed redactions. The judge will then decide whether to unseal that affidavit. All right, so you guys just saw those clips. So it's definitely getting serious. Um, the divide in this country is just getting bigger and bigger from what I'm seeing, and it's really disturbing. You know, in 2020, it was all this defund the police. Now in 2022, it's defund the FBI. You know, it's just really crazy uh, where we're at politically. You know, Democrats versus Republican, right versus left. I don't agree with any of it. I don't like all the divisiveness. I've never liked it. Um, but I think, you know, I see both sides. Let me say that. I see both sides. I can see why they don't want to just fully release everything because, again, you're dealing with national security. This is somebody who was the former president. This is not like a raid on a drug dealer's house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's something different. That's street shit. But what you're talking about, they gathered 27 boxes of classified, quote unquote, documents from his home. And the thing is, we don't know what's in those documents, and we don't know if those documents are just released unredacted. Can our enemies from overseas, you know what I'm saying, they would have access to the same documents. Can they use things in those documents against us here in America? You know, because at the end of the day, I'm concerned about the just the regular Joe Schmo, the regular people who have nothing to do with all this foolishness, who just want to work and take care of their families and, you know, not have to pay three times as much for groceries. And, and gas, that's really what the American people are concerned with, first and foremost. So we don't want to do anything to make things even worse, you know, for the American people. A lot of people are also saying that this only happened because they don't want Trump to run again for president. Joe Rogan was speaking on this the other day when I was listening to his podcast. So here goes a snippet of what Joe Rogan had to say. That he's been given a ton of fuel, like they just poured rocket fuel in his engine. I think that's absolutely true. I mean, if you just look at the fundraising he's done off the back of this already. Legally, like what did they find? Oh. And is he actually, is he actually in trouble? Because I think the goal is to try to knock him out of the 2024 elections. Podcast, podcast host Joe Rogan speculating on the real motive behind the raid on Donald Trump's home. And it all boils down to politics. It comes as the judge who approved the raid, a Trump critic, will hear arguments tomorrow on whether to unseal the affidavit that led to the search. All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So, again... I could see that side, too, um, because Trump was a very controversial president, but he did get a lot of things done as well. You know, and a lot of people want him to run again. Even people who are Joe Biden supporters are like, you know what? We're kind of tired of Sleepy Joe. We're tired of old man Joe, you know, nodding off, not knowing if he's coming or going. Something just doesn't feel right with him. Half the time when he's talking, I feel like I'm watching a deep fake. I don't even feel like it's Joe Biden at this point. But that's a whole nother video. So a lot of people do want Donald Trump to run again. And they're feeling like this raid was done. So that way that can affect him from running in 2024. And I can see that. I can see some truth to that. You know, let's also not forget they were trying to impeach him after January 6th to also stop him from running in 2024. But I know the type of person Donald Trump is. Let's keep it real. He's a narcissist, right? And as a narcissist, you're not going to do too much to stop them. If they have their mind set on something, they're going to go forward with it. So he's going to take all of this drama, all of this stuff from this raid, them besmirching his name. He's going to use that as fuel for fodder and definitely call himself running in 2024. If they can't find a way to legally stop him from running, he's going to use this as 
the excuse, the catalyst to run for that presidential bid. So it's going to be very interesting at this point. I'm just sitting back and I'm just sipping tea. But it is going to be very interesting to see what comes from this. Is what is in this affidavit going to be so bad that it's going to, you know, basically stomp out his political career and make it where he can't run? Are they going to release it? Because they're saying that they should next week. But then again, next week could come and they could change their mind. It's like we just don't know. At this point, it's a waiting game. But I do feel like if they went in there, they went in there for a reason. Because the FBI is not going to pounce if there's nothing worth pouncing on. They're not going to waste their time and resources by raiding a former president if there was nothing there. So, like I said, at this point, for me, it's a waiting game. But let me know what you guys think about this situation. How do you guys feel about the raid in general? Do you feel like, do you agree with Trump that the entire affidavit should be released, no redactments? Or do you understand and agree that, no, they need to redact some stuff because we don't want our enemies seeing everything that's on that paperwork and being able to use that against us? And then do you guys agree with Joe Rogan that this was done because they do not want Trump to run for a second term and this is a way to deflect and, you know, demonize him? Or do you feel like there's just more to the story and Trump may really be guilty of something? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave your comment. Again, I just want respectful dialogue. There's no right or wrong. None of us know the answers. We're all sitting back waiting to find out more information. So let me know your thoughts on everything. Go ahead and leave a comment. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. And last but not least, make sure you are still subscribed to this channel because they love to unsubscribe people, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.